Okay, it's a wonder that Facebook has not faced a massive, and I do mean a massive, lawsuit from YouTube. Why, you ask? Well, it's pretty much guaranteed that if you have a video that gets over 100,000 views on YouTube, give or take a few, somebody on Facebook is going to pick up that video and they're gonna post that video to their own Facebook page and boom, you lose advertising revenue. Great, someone just pirated your video and it's almost guaranteed that Facebook isn't going to do anything about it. There are large Facebook pages, some with 100,000 to over a million likes, who are dedicated to doing little more than stealing YouTube videos and posting them up to their own Facebook pages as if they are the creators of that content. They may put a graphic frame around them to make them look a little bit different, but they give you the perception that they created the content when it belongs to you. And then there are Facebook pages with admins who troll around Facebook and they do the same thing. You've created a video and you put it up to your Facebook page and it gets hundreds of thousands or maybe even a few million views. Well, somebody comes along, they take that video and they post it to their Facebook page and they make it look like they created the content. These pages produce none of their own content. They don't do it for photos, they don't do it for videos, they don't do it for memes. And even if they write a few articles, their articles are nothing but crap and fake news. The only reason these Facebook pages exist is to steal the work of others, and Facebook lets them do it and lets them do it with impunity. So why does Facebook keep doing this? Well, <laughs> because it helps their video platform grow. That's the only reason I can think of. I've been a victim of these content thieves on a regular basis. I have a Facebook page now that has over half a million likes and almost every single video I put up gets stolen and reposted sometimes within two hours and sometimes within 15 minutes. It's that blatant. And these people are, they're all over Facebook. It's discouraging to come up with a concept and come up with the right photos and find the right royalty-free video clips, find the right music, edit the video sometimes for a couple of hours only to have some Russian dude with a bogus Facebook page come along and take your video and upload it an hour after you put it up. It happens all the time and it's so blatant that it's hard to believe that both Facebook and YouTube tolerates this kind of nonsense. YouTube does have a system though to report intellectual property theft if people steal your videos and repost them on YouTube. You can easily report these thieves by filling out a simple takedown notice. However, if you do this on Facebook, if you report them on Facebook, Facebook sends them your contact information. That's right, Facebook sends your contact information to the people that you report for stealing your video. We're dealing with thieves here, Facebook. They're stealing people's intellectual property and you wanna give them my contact information. Oh, that is brilliant. That's brilliant, Facebook. Does that sound like a recipe for disaster? Anyone? Bueller? Now, Facebook video does work in some circumstances very well. If you have the right video, you can sometimes get millions of views on it and tremendous reach for your page. And there are many original creators who don't rip people off and they create fantastic work. But that aside, Facebook has let blatant copyright violators slide and they aren't doing anything to curb this. They simply ignore it. Facebook has to know this is going on and they had to know it's going on for the last couple years or so. YouTube also has to know this is going on. But the question is, why doesn't YouTube do something about it? Why don't they sue Facebook for all the lost revenue Facebook has cost YouTube and their creators? If someone steals a viral YouTube video and puts it back up on Facebook, and let's say it gets 20 million views, that can be anywhere from 60,000 to $100,000 in lost advertising revenue for the creator of that video. Do you see how important this is, Facebook? You are letting people steal other people's livelihood. It happens all the time. And as of now, it's had to have run into billions of dollars lost by YouTube creators. 
On the other hand, it's hard to put a monetary value on it when somebody steals a Facebook video from your Facebook page and reposts it to their Facebook page because Facebook doesn't have revenue sharing like YouTube does. But for the creator of that Facebook video that gets ripped off, that costs them time, like, and exposure for their page. Because guess what? The person that ripped it off, they get the likes and exposure for their own page. Facebook, are you listening? Mark Zuckerberg, are you listening? I thought you were a social justice warrior do-gooder. Why, Mr. Zuckerberg, when you know this is happening, are you continuing to ignore this blatant and repeated theft of intellectual property? We thank you for listening and we do want to hear from you, so we ask that you please leave your comments in the comment section below this video and don't forget to subscribe to how-to videos here on YouTube. Adios.